Okay, in the last video I talked about PHP's date function. In this video I want to talk about some of the functions that PHP has for manipulating strings. So you do a lot of work with strings with PHP, especially if you're doing web development work. So let's create a string and call it my variable. Again, a horrible name for a variable, but <laughs> whatever. And let's say John Elder is a PHP coding God. Semicolon. Now, if we echo out my variable, oops, hit save, hit reload, it says John Elder is a PHP coding God. Well, what if we want to change a few of the words in this string? Very easy with PHP's string replace function, and that's str underscore replace. You can see it when I started to type it coding editor popped it in it popped it in there for me and like all of our functions we need to pass some parameters between these uh, parentheses things here or whatever those are called so basically you go old comma new comma and then call it whatever variable you want to do this to right so we can echo this out and comment out that. So what do we want to do? The old, let's replace the word God. So we could type in God. And we want to replace it with the word dork. So let's save this. Hit reload. And it now says John Elder is a PHP coding dork. So this is cool. Now, we've used words here, but we can just as easily use variables. Let's call this variable God, and it equals God. Let's call this variable dork, and it equals dork. And so we could echo, or we could do put the variable here with the variable we want to replace it with. Save this, hit reload, and it once, once again says dork. Or we could then come up here to change the dork to geek. We don't have to change anything at all in our string replace line. And now it says geek. So this is a this is a pretty cool function. I use this a lot for lots of different weird little things where, oh, maybe you're you're editing something and and you get something from a shopping cart and you need to change it a little bit, or you get some JSON from a from an API call or something and you need to change something in it. This is a really quick and easy way to do that. That's str underscore replace. Make a note of that. Another couple of them I want to talk about really quickly are uppercase and lowercase. A lot of the times you'll get some stuff, and let's just change this to John, for instance. And we want to echo out my variable to the screen. But we don't want it to be lowercase, we want it to be uppercase. So PHP has a function called string to upper, and it's str t o u p p e r, and again you pass the variable, or you pass your parameter in like this, and if we hit save, now we've echoed this out. Hopefully it will capital capitalize not John. Now you notice everything here is capitalized, so string to upper does you know capitalizes everything in the string. If you just want to capitalize just the you know just the first thing you can use the uc words function and that's just uc words save this reload and here we just have john now here's something interesting if you go john elder this uc words will only capitalize i believe the first one oh no did, did them both so it will capitalize every first letter of every word in your string. So that's cool. So let's make a list of these here. So we had string to upper. We have uc words. Also, like string to upper, you have string to lower. So let's capitalize our John Elder and see what string to lower does. String to lower, save. So now we started out with this capitalized and it, boom, it bops it down to lowercase. 
And then we have the LC first. And if you notice, UC words, that's uppercase words. So what that was doing was making everything uppercased. LC first, what do you think that does? Lowercase first. So let's type in LC first, hit save. And now both of these started out capitalized and now this one has been taken down to lowercase, LC first. Let's try LC words. I don't even know if this is actual one or not. Nope. <laughs> so these are some very simple ways that you can manipulate strings, text and strings with PHP using its built-in functions. If we type in, go to Google and type in PHP string manipulation, you can see the PHP strings functions and there's all kinds of different things you can do here. Uh, here's our echo, we've been using echo, that's a function. So here's str shuffle, that looks interesting. It randomly shuffles a string, so let's, I've never used this before, but let's see what happens. So our string is John Elder, hit reload, just gonna be a jumbled doll. <laughs> so you can, you can look through the documentation and see strips HTML from stuff, find the position of things, find the length of a string. This one's interesting. Sometimes you need to find the length of a string in order to do some certain things. 10. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It counts the space as a, as a number 2. So very cool, very interesting. And take a few minutes. Here's our string to upper, string to lower. You see first, you see words. Did we do you see first? Oh, I don't think we did. You see first. I'm going to guess <laughs> that that's going to make the first word uppercase. You see first. Hit reload. So we should have a capital John, lowercase e. Yep, there we go. So. Pretty cool, check this out. If you don't know the php.net documentation, take some time to just sort of look through here. Uh, anytime you Google something that you don't understand with PHP, this website's gonna come up as, you know, like the very first listing. So there's all kinds of stuff in there that you can read. And that's all for this video. And if you wanna get my entire PHP course absolutely free, head over to codemy.com slash free PHP. That's codemy.com slash free PHP.